coordination of transportation services can improve both program efficiency and the customer experience, especially in rural areas where people have to travel long distances to access medical care and other necessary services. When a critical destination is across a county or city boundary, a lack of coordination can mean that people with disabilities and older adults can't get where they need to go. What we found is we had some wonderful ride providers in our community, and they range from volunteer organizations that provide rides for free and have very limited budgets, to things like the standard cab system, to rides that are provided through the paratransit uh, that goes along with with the mass transit in our community. But ride providers weren't working together. Residents in the rural areas are coming to town to see a doctor or to grocery shop or to do their social events. But those city services only go to their boundary. And so that's where we need to get the community ride provider and the city systems to work together more effectively. Coordination can be especially effective when there is a central access point or call center. That's where people who need transportation can learn about the transportation services available in their communities and schedule their rides. I think for riders, being able to call one number and have those rides figured out for you, everybody wins. That way it'll be easier for potential riders and riders to be able to find multiple providers and what's best for them, what kind of service they actually need. The way it worked is that you could call in. If the volunteer transportation services could provide the ride, they would provide the ride. If they couldn't, it could go to the taxi and paratransit company. Because of this partnership and this coordination, we can take them this far to our boundary. You guys can meet us there because it's not far outside of your boundary. And that way, they didn't have to figure out, okay, I can do this, then this, then this. Despite the fear that both providers and riders would resist change, a well-coordinated program can actually benefit everyone. But first, it is necessary to recognize and respond to everyone's concerns. Whatever solutions we came up with, everyone wanted to make sure that riders could rely on it, it was affordable, it was safe for them, and they really wanted a person-centered approach. So. These ride providers, they get to know their clients and the ones they serve, and they know issues of their family and issues of their health. And our community did not want to lose that as we got a more sophisticated ride ordering system where one might use a telephone or a computer or an app on a smartphone. So we took that strength and we had to overcome the barrier of getting folks to trust each other that you would handle my rider just as delicately as I would handle my rider. And that has been one of the key outcomes of this project. We call it a proof of concept because we had to prove that we could work together. Both ride providers and riders are willing to have a more integrated approach to getting people where they need to get to. A coordinated transportation program can also make the system more efficient. Most rides were done in a singular fashion. There was one rider and three empty seats in a car as someone went somewhere. As our system changes, we have the opportunity to share rides more often. It's an organized approach and system that will actually work and get me where I need to go. We didn't even know we could do that before because we'd never done it. So we were transferring trips back and forth, entering people in the system, and we were able to move a little over 500, uh, did over 500 trips in a three and a half month window, and we worked together as a team. A coordinated transportation system cannot be built overnight. It certainly takes time and hard work. But perhaps the most essential ingredient is building respectful, trusting relationships among everyone involved. It's building a relationship. I mean, we're not just moving people from point A to point B. It's building trust and having trust in the relationship of the people that you're working in. We all have a common goal, and that common goal is to get people where they need to go and allow them to have their independence. And I think that that's the glue that holds us together.